Hey guys, so today is actually a pretty good day. I'm, I'm very proud of uh, the way I traded today. Um, so essentially, um, I took uh, an opening range breakdown. I kind of preempted it. It was like 9.34 or um, 30 or something like that when I actually started taking my first position at AbV. Um, it looked like it was a weak stock. Um, it had this pullback. And the reason why I think it was um, weak um, was I was looking at the level two. Um, it, it was continuing to drop. Um, also, it had some bad news. Um, it lost a lot um, over the course of the uh, night and the pre-market. Um, and then so when it recovered a bit, that was you know some of the, uh, the, the shorts covering and whatnot. And then... Um, it looked like it was gonna come back down. So that's basically at uh, this level. So at 925, it recovered a bit. Um, and then uh, at 930, it was basically breaking down, but then it kept getting bought back up. And to me, I feel like that was the shorts covering. And then um, as the level two dictated uh, that the price was gonna continue to fall, um, I basically took a small size. The stock was very versatile and it's kind of expensive, 80 bucks a pop around, uh, or 80, 81.57 at that time. Uh, I took about 300 shares short. Um, as you can see, it did pull back up momentarily, um, but it never broke VWAP. And that's another thing I looked at too, was it started out at this level uh, and then it made uh, lower highs, okay? And then it didn't break that level. Um, and then so I went short and then as you see when it popped up it made another lower high and then when it dropped um, I started to cover uh, simply because it's volatile um, and I was still at the back of my in the back of my mind I was concerned that um, it would make another uh, run up to for for all the all the other shorts that had cover uh, that had um, shorted that they would cover so um, I was a little fast on my uh, trigger finger and uh, exited. Um, and then when I saw that it made yet another uh, lower high, at this point after I covered, uh, I went short again. Again, level two dictated that uh, the price was falling. So I took another small position, but this time I was very quick to cover because when I saw that it, it dropped, but it never reached this uh, lower low. It settled right here, and on the way back up, I basically covered it off. As you can see, it popped up again. Um, I just didn't want this to keep moving up. Um, but this seems like it was just consolidating a bit um, and, and some minor pullback, and then it dropped again. So uh, I missed this drop here. If I was more patient and whatnot and had a better better entry, but you know, I, I'd rather play it safe. So... Um, some people, if they had went in here and saw that, you know, lower uh, highs, another lower high, um, they would probably made an entry around this point and then they could have rolled the uh, wave down for a pretty big profit at that point. Uh, I didn't do that, but I did go on this other leg here when there was a pullback uh, and they made a lower high. So I went short, um, but, you know, this stock scares me, so I always exit pretty quickly. So... I went up, but this is not actually a small percentage move. Look, it's 80, 20, 80, about 80 bucks. Uh, that's 10 cents, 10 cents. And then basically that's uh, a 40 cent move here. So even though it looks small, this is actually a really big move. Same same with all of these other ones too, right? This is 81.34, drop to 81.13, and then 81. So that's 30 cent move. So these are all pretty big moves. Um, so for FV, made 180 bucks off of it. Um, the other trade I took was Western Digital, which uh, similarly, um, well, actually not similarly, because it actually moved up. So it was pretty stable, and then it kind of popped up in the pre-market, and then it had this uh, huge, uh, uh, huge drop. Um, so what I did here was I took the... Um, uh, breakdown so it was consolidating at this area uh, so it was basically chopping around uh, once it got to this uh, simple moving average and then when I saw that it closed below it um, and then it sort of settled around the 4362 level um, I watched for it to see if it would break down or it would go back up 
the stock was kind of weak, so it broke down. Um, but I wasn't completely sure. So when it broke down, I covered, uh, and then on the way back up, I covered again at break even because I don't want this to run up uh, against me. Simply because, uh, similar to Abvi, it had this huge drop from forty six fifty two down to 40 that's three dollar drop that's a lot uh so i don't want this to to, to just run back up um so i i think i took uh, again here uh probably a sm well no, actually this i took a pretty big size 500 shares um well big in current terms uh back then that was considered small for me but um anyway uh so again i see that it never broke this ema uh, so after it had a pullback and it looked like it was going to break, uh, the 43, 44 level again, uh, I went short 500 shares and then I covered it on the way, uh, down. Uh, and then when it couldn't make a new low, I covered some more. And then the last piece, uh, I covered there. So this, this was, um, I was very proud of this trade here because as you can see, then they had this huge run up from the low here at 4309 all the way back up to 44.33. So uh, you don't want to get caught in, in that move there. Um, so overall, um, I was playing very uh, good defensively and was able to spot some uh, trends. So um, I was proud of myself there. But if some people caught this near uh, the latter part of the day, this would have been a pretty good move too because it went from 43.46, this is a whole dollar move basically to 42.56. Um, so probably get some shares around this level when it broke down. Hold through this pullback and then um, and wait for the drop. So it's basically A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Yeah, that would be a pretty good move if you're able to catch it. Um, so that was Western Digital and then RMD. So RMD was a very pricey stock. Uh, so I didn't think I'd take, I took that many shares of it. Um, Maybe 300 shares. I took some small sizes today because of the size of the stocks and the, vers uh, and the volatility and the spread as well. The spread on all of these stocks are pretty uh, big besides uh, Western Digital. So I went short because I, s I saw this engulfing pattern at 941. So once it broke this uh, level, I made a new low. <coughs> I went short. Uh, couldn't, make a, couldn't break this, couldn't make a new lower low. Um, on the way back up, I covered. I didn't want to be in through this uh, chop fest here. Uh, and then when it um, popped up, uh, I went short again. So on the way down, I covered. And the reason why I went uh, short at this level is because, let's see over here, I'll show you. So I was making newer lows. Um, this is more like a pullback. So when it pulled back to this level, can sustain it. Um, here, that's another lower low. So uh, this indicates to me at the time that all these wicks means there's a lot of selling pressure over the buying pressure. So even though people are trying to um, buy it back up, there was more people selling. So on this pullback, I basically short it, but I covered really quickly because once it dropped back to this level where I uh, previously closed um, and it didn't go be below that, I covered. Uh, and then when it dropped, I actually tried to cover on the way down, but it didn't get executed. It was pretty quick. And, and you see this wick on the way back up, I covered. Uh, and then as the stock kept moving back up, I covered really quickly uh, the remainder because if you look at the next five minute, the stock actually did a run up, uh, a reversal, a V reversal, all the way back through the VWAP um, and went up to $99. So if you were to hold it, uh, that's a $2 um, uh, uh, difference, delta of $2. So if you had, 
you know, significant amount of shares, that's uh, that's quite a lot of money. So even at my level with like two or three hundred, that's two or three hundred bucks. So um, I would have probably stopped out by then, um, or I should have. Um, so that's and then you never know; it can continue to keep go, keep going up back to the uh, high of the day, which is one of three. You don't want to hold through that. So um, I was proud of this trade as well, um, being able to um, you know look at uh, the the um, the chart and then the price action and whatnot. Um, so overall, $421.42, um, took 31 tickets, uh, and commission was 33.50. Uh, so, and you can ignore this, this, uh, 9,628, that's a uh, options play I did. That is, um, uh, long, t sort of a, a swing position. I held the option for several months now, so. Uh, so on paper it looks good, but it's only four hundred twenty-one dollars forty-two cents. Anyway, um, good times. Hope everyone did well.